to me, then you will get in what? His presence. This will cause us to reflect back over our life and see what God's goodness. The Bible says they praise him for his goodness and his mercy. We don't have to spend a lot of time on this because there are a lot of people reading this that we know God has been good to them. We can just think about what God has done for you and just praise God. You can look back on your lives and you can think about all the stuff that you have complained about. All the stuff that you murmur and complained about. And you can say, Lord, I thank you for your goodness. God's been good to all of us. Verse 3 says they began what? To praise the Lord. And when all the children of Israel. All the children of Israel saw how the fire came down and the glory of the Lord upon the house. They bowed themselves to their face into the ground upon the pavement and worship and praised the Lord saying, for he is good for his mercy endure forever. They were saying he is good for his mercy endure forever. Translation, God is so good. I can't believe that he is good to somebody like me. I'll say that again. God is so good. I can't believe that he is so good to somebody like Zari. Because when we look at how messed up we were and how we don't deserve it, his mercy kicks in. Goodness and mercy just keeps up. Uh, keeps us with on coming every time God blesses us when somebody asks us how God did it we can simply say was God's mercy I was trying to share that with somebody this week and they couldn't get it. I just I just got quiet I said look you believe what you want to believe you know they give you they throw off scriptures but it's just God how did we get that mercy anybody know about God's goodness and his mercy. God's goodness and his mercy travels with us. David said, look over your shoulder because goodness and mercy will follow you up all the days of your life. God is just good. Give more than 30 seconds to praise him by myself because what? Because God is just that good. God healed some, some of your bodies, put food on your table, made a way out of no way. God us went through the winter, through the recession, running off the road out of accidents, got us a job we didn't deserve and restored stuff that we didn't even think we could get back. God is just that good. If you just realize who you were and, and, and how much we don't deserve it. When the glory came down, the Bible says what? They worship God. They worship God. The scripture says they praise him for his goodness and mercy because it endures forever. They were working on something for the glory of God. And the glory of God came down in the midst and caused them to reverence his glory. Get out of the way and recognize who was there. It's God. The Bible declares that we have to examine the giving of people. The giving of people. Listen to this. In verse uh, uh Verse four and five. Uh, then the king and all the people offered sacrifices before the Lord. And the king Solomon offered a sacrifice of 22,000 oxen and 120,000 sheep. So the king and all the people dedicated the house to God. The king and all the people offered sacrifices, Lord, because they were working on something. King Solomon offered the sacrifice of 22,000 oxen 
we don't have ox. This was an agricultural society, so this was a revenue to them, just like money. It also says he gave 120 sheep. We don't have sheep either. This was a revenue to them also. So the king and all the people, what they dedicated the house of the Lord and they dedicate the house of the Lord because the leaders gave first. And when the leaders gave the people followed. the glory of God really represented completion. Whenever the glory of the Lord shows up, it is a subtle, a subtle reminder that it is time to complete something. God is a complimenter. When, when Jesus Christ came into his glory it was at Calvary Jesus says it is what it is finished when when God created the world he, he did it in six days and on the seventh day he rested because he completed it he says I am Alpha and Omega uh huh and he says what I'm the first and the last he says he is the beginning and the end whenever the glory is wherever the glory is there must be what completion there must be completion wherever the glory of God is the issue is many of us walk around saying we are in the midst or we are going to give him glory yet we have a lot of incomplete stuff in our life for that we give him glory but we won't give but he won't give us glory we not only need to give him glory we want him to bring his glory down to us God says he will not allow his glory to come down until we show we are ready to complete something God doesn't have time to fool with incomplete people God says he has already completed what we are working on he just needs us to step in and complete it ourselves the glory is a reminder of our needs us to step in complete it ourselves the glory is a reminder of our needs to step in what and complete ourselves. The glory is a matter of our need to complete things. Many of us are sitting around with stuff that God needs us to complete. That book we have been waiting to write. The business plan we need to that it needs to implement. God needs us to complete some stuff. God says he is about to send his glory in a subtle way reminder that we need to complete some things. God is a God of completion. And when we complete things represents God's glory. When we complete things that represents God's glory. I don't know who you are out there. I may go back over this again tomorrow night if the Lord allows me to. But this week, the Lord said, he said that I'm sending down the glory in the space because some some things that are, are being completed. Amen. You know, um, you know, sometimes when you move into this, it gets kind of kind of different because there's so many different separations and, and, and just different things. Things change. And oftentimes people around us don't accept change because, you know, um, I don't know, you know, they, they may act different one way or the other. But I believe that if we follow this precept and we begin to worship and reverence God for just who he is, that we're going to experience over these next seven days a glory of God like never before. I believe that God wants to do it for someone out there tonight. Something special, something new, something fresh, something that you haven't seen before. Something that you haven't seen before, something that you haven't experienced. It could be a loved one. It could be a family member. You know, it could be a business. It could be a relationship. I know what it is to be under what some people will call pressure and different things. And oftentimes people try to figure out, you know, why you don't, you know, um, 
react but rather respond because you don't you don't react to the things of the world you only respond to what I respond to God's presence God's glory because God speaks you know like you could say something to somebody and the first thing that they say first thing they give you is flesh so when you gonna do it what are you talking about I just told you about it so you know unfortunately you can't share everything because even though some people they, whatever their age or bracket or whatever or however long they've been in the church they don't have they're not seasoned they don't have that experience that you know that um that you know we don't do anything until god's presence comes so we don't really even speak in that in that realm because it's it, it's actually it's actually a um especially if you deal with a brother and sister in the lord it's actually a turn off so we want what we want to see God's glory and we know God is doing something and we're working on something but we move we move we move in action and while we're moving God is being glorified because God is recognizing that you're trusting and your faith and your worship in them and then you know you you're seeing his glory and you and you and then you begin to praise him and you're spending that quality time because you know whatever whatever God's about to do you don't deserve it amen but just because he's God he does it anyway you know goodness and grace are following you goodness and grace are uh, are running after you goodness and grace need to hold on to you they 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 they're embracing you God is doing it today. I tell you, I don't know who you are out there. I hope you, this was a blessing to you. I'm going to pray for you now. Father, in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One, I thank you for your word tonight. I thank you for your people, Lord. And I pray tonight, Lord, that they would experience the demonstration and display of thy glory, Lord, the presence of thy glory, that thy glory would come down, Lord, and fill this space. Let your glory come down and fill this space, Lord. Let your glory come down, Lord, and heal. Let your glory come down, Lord, and give direction, Lord. Let your glory come down and completion take place. Let your glory come down, Lord, fill them with understanding, Lord. Let thy glory come down that you're pleased, oh God. Thank you. Allow thy glory to come down, Lord, over us, your people, Lord. That gives back everything that the enemy stole. Let thy glory come down with time. Thy glory come down, Lord, and reach the people. Thy glory come down and heal broken relationships. Heal relationships between mothers and and sons, mothers and daughters, fathers and sons, sons and daughters. Thy glory come down and heal relationships with aunt, uncles, nieces and nephews, grandmothers and grandfathers. Thy glory come down. Thy glory come down, Lord, and it it heals the broken heart, Lord. It heals. It heal thy glory come down and heals from bitterness. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One, I give thy name praise and I give thy name glory. And I give thy name honor, Lord. Do it for your people. Be the Hashabal. And the Lelosi. Be thy glorified tonight, Lord. I love you. 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 I worship you, God. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I worship you. I worship you, Lord. I worship you, God. And I love you. And I love you. I love you. I give that name praise, Lord. And I give you glory. And I give you honor, Lord. I just thank you, Lord, for your glory coming down, Lord. And filling this space, Lord. Meet them right where they are, Lord make the difference lord thy glory come down over this airway lord and make them all different that they would be drawn to you lord that they would fall back in love with you lord that you would be their first love lord thank you lord thank you lord i pray this prayer in the mighty name of yeshua the messiah the holy one amen and amen thank you lord hallelujah 
Thank you.